we're gonna do a fridge tour, okay? I love seeing inside people's refrigerators, especially when they eat like we do, right? So this is kind of random, but I'm expecting a food delivery this week and I, I wanted to do it before I got my delivery, a couple days before. So we got what's always in here, some spinach, some greens, power greens from Costco. I've got some kale. These containers are awesome, by the way. I will link them below in case you're interested. Don't put them in the dishwasher, but they are great for making your greens uh, last longer. And they work awesome for kale. I've had this for, wow, in here maybe four days and it looks brand new. They've got holes on the top. And they've got like a vent system on the bottom. They work really well. Um, what else we got? We, the same containers, only smaller with the broccoli. This is spring greens. They're getting a little bit old. This is cilantro. I try to always have cilantro. I put it in everything. Um, well, this is cashew cheese sauce. And this goes with this, which is my potatoes, which I always have some steamed potatoes in this um, steamer basket from Manson Pot. I just steam up a whole bunch as part of my food prep and keep this in here just like this at all times. And sometimes midweek I'll do another batch. It's, all, it's really awesome to have them handy like this. And then I like to dip them in the cashew cheese sauce. This is kale Caesar. Oops, sorry. This is, <laughs> this is kale Caesar. These lids are really great too for pouring and they go on wide mouth uh, mason jars. You can get them for a regular mouth too. This is red cabbage. I'd love to put this purple cabbage on my salads to make them pretty. Also cruciferous. So we're looking to eat as much cruciferous as we can. Um, we got different types of apples. And down here I've got Cara Cara oranges. This is a great way to to have avocados on hand, they look like this. And I get them at Costco. You can put these in the freezer. And this way I always have avocado because I use avocado like every day, pretty much every day. Um, these are my jewel dates. For sweeten, to sweeten things, one of these dates in the blender or whatever, they're good for salad dressing. If you just want something sweet that's not bad for you, you can have a date and it's, you know, they're really yummy. It's like eating caramels, I think. Um, these are the Cara Caras that I'm constantly talking about. Wonderful oranges. These are some leftover beans. That's some tofu and that's some quinoa. These containers are really cool too. I will link these below. They're awesome. They're glass on the bottom and I've been using them for quite a while. They work great for, for this type of thing. In here I've got one little, one little uh, baby bok choy left. I've got some... Um, jalapenos. I try to always have those now. I'm totally hooked on those. Some shallot, some uh, purple onion, and a bunch of carrots. Here we have more onions. Um, I got some Meyer. Oh, I got some Meyer lemons. I got different types of tofu. This particular one I get from Imperfect Foods. Um, it is, it's called Hodo, and it's really, really good. It's not watery, it has a really wonderful consistency, and it's just delicious. It's the best tofu I've ever had. Um, so one of the most important things in my fridge is flax and chia. There is a metal, a stainless measuring cup inside there. It's an eighth of a cup because I do, a half, I do an eighth of a cup in my smoothie in the morning, and then if I have another smoothie, I do another eighth of a cup. But if I don't have another smoothie, then I do barleans. I just do a, a spoonful of this because sometimes I just don't make it to that second smoothie. A lot of, about half the time I don't. So then I just have this. Um, they're, it's really good. This banana, strawberry, it's delicious. And then I'm getting my omega-3s for the day. I also keep some almond milk. I use this in my smoothies. It's acceptable. Um, I also have some organic ketchup for my air fried potatoes sometimes. I usually use the cashew, but this is, this is good sometimes. It's a little bit sweet, a little too sweet. This other stuff, just random condiments. I got some, um, I was going to use this in salad dressing. I haven't really done it yet. That's tamari. 
Um, this is sesame oil. I might use a couple drops with stir fries, and I mean just a, drops, and it flavors the stir fry. There's some more flaxseed. I like Bob's. Um, can't live without my lemon juice. And then this stuff from Trader Joe's. This is one of the few things I get that's not organic. I love this so much. It's salsa verde. It's awesome. Put a can of beans and a little bit of this and you just have a meal. You just have a meal already. It's so good. I put it in a lot of all my Mexican stuff. I put it in. It's really, really good. Super salty, not organic, but it's it's really good and it's cheap. Okay, guys, I think that's about, oh, well, I have some more. Not everything in here is mine. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything much to show you on that side. I do use this stuff. I haven't made a curry in a long time. It's one of my favorite foods. Thai food is my favorite food. And red curry is one of my favorite things, red and green. So it won't be long till I make a curry again. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for touring my fridge. Happy healing, guys.